I actually had five surgeries in one day. Wow. Under anesthesia. Yeah, I was in anesthesia for like six hours. How much weight have you lost so far and what is your end goal? Um, so far I've lost, I think 90, maybe 85 to 90 pounds. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, since August. Thank you. So what exactly, what what <laughs> procedure did you have done then? Well, actually what I had done after I started realizing I needed something done and I knew diet was going to get it for me because it just wasn't because I love cake. Mm -hmm. um, I, I started researching, researching the sleeve mm -hmm. and the gastric bypass and I chose the sleeve. I was looking for I can't remember the name of it. They, they insert a balloon into your abdominal yep. and they blow it up and six months later they take it out. But that'd be like only 20% of your weight loss, like 40 pounds total, you know? Mm -hmm. And I said, I need more than that. If I'm going to do anything, you know, surgically, I'm going to do it. Yeah. If I'm going to do it. If I'm going to go out on anesthesia and put the balloon down, I might as well go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were you, were you scared going into this whole procedure? You know, I wasn't until I got close to it. Yeah. Like, I was all ready and I was still ready, but started thinking, when am I going to come out of anesthesia? You know, <laughs> what is happening yeah. wrong? Yeah. You know, I, I've always lived on the edge, like working doubles and all, and, 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 you know, sleeping three hours. So, but as you get older, these things start clicking in your mind because your age is telling you, you know, you're not as young as you used to be. And I never thought I would say that, but that's the truth. Yeah. So I thought if I'm going to have this sleep done, it, it, it was, um, uh, perks to me that I could have um, because all the weight loss I'm going to be was going to be doing I said my skin's going even though my boobs lost weight they've always been big I said they're gonna they're really gonna fast weight loss is going to shrink them because of the fast weight loss even though they never when I'm on a regular diet they wouldn't do that mm -hmm. so I decided to do press surgery while I'm there reduction and everybody's like what I'm like, why not? You know, I got the opportunity from my wonderful coordinator, Natasha. Um, and then what about liposuction? I'm said, I said, uh, no, let's do it. Let's do it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my daughter, you know, my daughter's brother was like, mama, please don't do all them surgeries one day. I said, listen, I'm not going back and forth to California. I'm going to do everything I can while I'm there and I'm strong and I'm going to be all right. I said, this is something I need to do. So the bad thing was during the surgery, you know, some things uh, they found, you know, hernias and stuff. So I actually had five surgeries in one day. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was in anesthesia for like six hours. Oh my God. Yeah. But, um, so I had the, the, the sleeve reduction and, um, lipo on, on my, fat rolls back there at the top because I was when I started gaining the weight I never had fat rolls but at the bottom but it was like I was getting um I was getting obese I mean I was already you know obese in, in the medical term but I wasn't in my mind but I in my mind I was obese yeah. and it was hell it was hell honest to God and you know also I've always wanted to enhance my look for Michael because of his age mm -hmm. but this journey you know people need to know this was I felt like if I didn't, I would have died with the with the weight loss surgery. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you really thought like if I don't do this, this could be it for me. Yeah, and I, and I that's what I was telling Scala. I said, you know, it, it, you know, she's like, Mom, you could die on the table. I'm like, well, Scala, if I don't get on the table, I'm gonna die. Mm -hmm. So we'll take that risk. You know, if it's my time, then I'll just go on the table and I'll be asleep. And if I don't, I'll stay here and have a damn heart attack. You know. I mean, I, you know, you said like. In the beginning, it was kind of an emotional toll on you for, because you don't see the weight loss, but so many other people have. But now that it's been several months, are you starting to feel more confident and, and comfortable with your new body? Yeah, but you know, um, Michael wasn't very supportive, you know, right. at the, you know, and I don't, it's because they don't have surgeries over there, I think, and he don't know the real, you know, he, Michael don't see me as 55 like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Michael really sees me as his age, yeah. you know, and that's the good thing of it. But I, I, you know, you need somebody, you know, your partner emotionally supportive, you know, like it was rough. I feel like I was in it alone. You know what I mean? Without the grandkids, I would have been by myself. 